Hello crafty friends. I made these heart embellishments using jazzed up scrap paper, a super fun technique that I learned from Louise Heinzel. I will link her video in the description below. This first batch that I made, I made the video last night and when I went to edit it, the video had gone a bit bonkers and became corrupt and I couldn't work with it. So I had to make another video. So I've made another six of these that I'll make in tonight's video and it actually isn't so bad because they were so much fun to make and they're quite addictive so to start with we need to jazz up our little scraps as per Louise Heinzel's very clever idea I just have an old ice cream bucket here and I have all my little bits of scrap paper in here now they're already mostly done because I did use them in my first video but I'm going to show you how to make some more now I'm using specific paper I'm just tearing up some old uh, paper from an old book but you can really just use scraps that you have on your table that are leftovers from other projects a great way to use them up then I'm working with my distress oxide inks I have some dilution ink sprays I'm also going to use some color burst powders and also some acrylics any kind of medium you have will work for this and you can also use any colors that you like um, you can go for a really vintage feel or you can make it as really bright as you want and this part is really really fun it reminds me of when we were younger when I was younger I used to play in the garden and have like an old pot or an old bucket and you'd put in leaves and grass and dirt and straw and water and stir it up and make like a garden soup well this is sort of more like a scrap paper soup and it's really fun to make you just put your colors in you toss it about you can dry it in between just spray and splosh the paint in there and it makes the most magnificent pieces of scrap paper each one totally unique and super fun I've gone with a really bright pink and a turquoise for the color and the rest are all just neutrals it's all like vintage photo colors tea dye or my uh, oxide inks that I normally use for the vintage feel and then I'm also going to use some gold acrylic paint I do like the gold accent that it allows and how it just sort of brings a little spark and a bit of luster to the pieces And for a lovely contrast, I'm adding some black splatter with just watered down acrylic paint. And I'm going to do the same then with the white acrylic paint too. I would really love if you subscribed to my channel. I have a lot more projects that I'm going to be using these little jazzed up scrap pieces for. I have a whole bucket load and they're so much fun to make. I'm going to keep making and keep adding them to projects. So do subscribe and also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. I will put a full list of all the products that I have used in this video in the description below. You can either leave this to dry overnight or dry it with a heating tool and you can just see once everything is dry all the beautiful and unique pieces of paper that you have that you can use in so many different ways. I'm going to use an old encyclopedia page as the base for this project and then I'm going to select a few pieces of my scrap papers to stick down. I'm going to tear the pieces into smaller strips. I want to have as many different designs in a row as possible so that each heart that I cut out is going to have multiple designs. And then I'm just going to stick the strips down with a glue stick. I like the torn edges to show so I try to overlap it in a way that the torn edges sort of are on top and you can see them. If some pieces don't stick down 100% or if corners are flapping up a bit I don't mind that so much because I do like it to have some texture but if you want to just add additional glue or you could actually use craft glue for this step. Sometimes both sides of the scrap paper have beautiful designs and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pick which one you want to show. You can see how beautiful that gold metallic is shining through. I'm really happy that I added that. I think that looks stunning just like that and would actually make a really great junk journal cover. 
but we're going to cut it up and once everything is dry once the glue is really well dried we're just going to cut out our shapes now i'm using a heart shape you can use any shape you like or you can cut them into like bookmark shapes or just squares anything you like um, and I'm not going very um, neatly around my heart template I'm just going very roughly just to get the sort of the shape I don't mind if the heart is a little wonky or lopsided I actually quite like that Do save the off cuts when you cut these out. I will find a way to use them in a future project. Can you tell I'm a hoarder? And there are six lovely scrappy hearts. I'm going to run them under the sewing machine, round twice on running stitch, and I'm going to bunch some thread just to give it more of a rustic feel. I do have a video on how I do my thread bunching that I will link in the description below if you'd like to have a look at that. I added some of this lace ribbon in my bucket of colour so it's also picked up some of the beautiful colours along with the papers and I'm going to use this just to add a little bit of embellishment to the heart. I'm cutting a small piece and do doing it like a tab on the side of the heart and just running it under the machine with zigzag stitch. And as you can see I'm leaving all my threads long and loose. I personally like that you can trim them down if you don't like the loose threads. I'm going to add a few buttons just for some additional color and some more interest. I have these um, glitter buttons that I have bought a long time ago, I think maybe off AliExpress. I'm going to use one of those on each and then a smaller button in a contrasting color. I'm just going to stick those down with the hot glue, reason being they are being stuck onto a chunky surface that's got layered paper. Some of them are overlapping on the lace ribbon so I'm thinking that a hot glue gun is going to be the most secure way to adhere these. I'm going to put these hearts in my Etsy shop for sale um, as of tomorrow if you're interested to purchase. They would make a great embellishment on the cover of a junk journal. They could make a beautiful journaling card that you could pop into a pocket or you could just add it onto a page with a really large paper clip. I'm also going to add some sentiment, just a small sentiment on each one. I have these sticker sentiments in black with white print. I'm cutting most of them in half. They're sort of like a double layer. I want to keep the embellishment all together so they're going just above the buttons so cutting it in half I think balances that out really well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own jazzed up scraps and then to use them in some lovely embellishment creation. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.